uh, in this uh, flip class we will discuss about mapping cardinalities mapping cardinalities are also known as mapping constraints uh, these mapping constraints uh, plays an important role in entity relationship model or we can represent it in with the help of entity relationship diagram so first of all what is mapping cardinalities or constraint a mapping cardinality is, is basically express the number of entities uh, to which another entity can be associated or linked. It means how one entity of one entity set is associated with another entity of another entity set. That is only possible uh, with the help of a relationship set that we have already discussed in previous flip class. Then types of mapping cardinalities. Uh, there are four major types of mapping cardinalities. Number one is called one to one. Number two is called one to many. Number three is called many to many and number four is called many to one. Uh, number one, one to one mapping cardinalities. So in one to one mapping cardinalities, an entity in entity set A is associated or linked with at most one entity in entity set B. And we can say that uh, an entity in entity set B is associated with at most one entity in entity set A. This is called one to one uh, mapping cardinalities as it is clear from this figure. So here entity set A contains uh, uh, entities A1, A2 and A3 whereas uh, entity set B contains an entity B1, B2 and B3 and each entity of entity set A is associated with each entity of entity set B at most once, right? Second is called one to many mapping cardinality. An entity in entity set A is associated with any number of entities in entity set B, while uh, an entity in B, entity in entity set B can be associated with at most one entity in entity set A as it is clear from this figure. So here uh, entity set A contains two entities A1 and A2. A1 can be associated with two entities of entity set B. Here A2 is also associated with uh, two entities of entity set B. While from B to A uh, various entities of entity set B is associated with at most one entity in entity set A, right? Then third is called many to one. An entity in entity set A is associated with at most one entity in entity set B. It is uh, just reverse of one to many uh, entity set. While an entity in entity set B can be associated with any number of entities in entity set A. So as it is clear from figure uh, that is described below, right? Next is called uh, many to many uh, mapping cardinalities. So in this, uh, any number of entities in entity set A can be associated with any number of entities in entity set B. Similarly, an entity uh, in entity set B can be associated with any number of entities in entity set A. So it is clear from uh, the figure or the diagram which is described below here all the entities of entity set A can be associated with any number of entities in entity set B. Similarly all the entities of entity set B can be associated with any number of entities in entity set A.